Trick or treat, everyone! Hey everyone, RG here and welcome to Halloween special. I hope you're all doing awesome today. And if not, let's try to cheer you up a bit with this spooky build that actually you all picked. Um, so yeah, welcome to Halloween special and in this, uh, this build I'm gonna build a ghost ship. So yeah, this is not just an ordinary build, it's also part of a, some sort of a collaboration, a group collaboration, if you will, of so many simmers that I, I lost count. I think that we joined up uh, like 60, 60, something like that, 60 and something, simmers around the world, led by the awesome uh, SETI sim, and there are so many other other names over there that you probably know, like Hate Emerald, and SimStream, and Melian Design, and Freezer Money, and so many other awesome creator that I can't really say all of them because I said it's like 60, 60. It's like 60, there's so many and they are all amazing and we all joined up together to bring you the most spooky Halloween builds that you can get. So that means of course that this build is gonna be part of a playlist that you can go and check out for yourself to see the other creations of the other simmers which are just awesome. So I definitely encourage you all to go and check them out and let's talk about uh, this build. So I decided to go with uh, with Ghost Ship. I don't know why, I, I really wanted to do something like that for a long time now. I've created, you know, I, I've created some ships uh, in the past. One of them is the Titanic and, and I created a yacht, like a private yacht, luxury yacht. And I created, at the beginning of the channel, I created I think uh, it was really near to the point where the new pack back then was uh, Get Famous and in that pack we got some uh, items that meant to be used for filming that if you, if you combine them all together you'll get a pirate ship. So, uh, so I did that before and I really really wanted to try and create a, a, a ghost ship, like a real ghost ship, all themed around ghost ship. Uh, and, and the first idea in my head was actually a from from uh, SpongeBob, you know the Dutchman, the Flying Dutchman. So his ship was the first idea in my head. So I kind of went with that as an inspiration for this build. So it's all gonna be around the theme of green. And uh, I think it end up super super well. And yeah, that that is my build for uh, this uh, Halloween uh, special. Happy Halloween for all of you who are uh, celebrating it and get a lot of treats. Uh, try not to uh, you know uh, over get them, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's really really tasty actually. You know what? Get as much as you want and um, whatever you want get as many as you wish. So yeah, happy holiday for those who are celebrating it and let's talk about the build itself. So as I started to say uh, before, this is the build that you picked in the survey that I hosted in the past, like what, two days? And uh, you wanted to see me creating a drunken bar for ghosts. Now, of course, I think by now, for those who are following me, not like two days, uh, or uh, three days, uh, you know that I'm trying to find and um, innovate every time with my build. So uh, you were expecting me not to bring you just a house or a broken bar out of wood or something like that that is a bit spooky. So I decided to go with the shape of, uh, of a ship, not just a ship, a pirate ship, and not just a pirate ship, a ghost pirate ship. Now one thing that I really wanted to do, and I gotta tell you that I managed to do it, is not to use the tool mod in this build. And the reason for that is because I wanted it, uh, I wanted this build to uh, participate with the, uh, uh, this, like this week or weeks or month challenge of the Sims that you can uh, create a spooky theme builds. Uh, but one of the rules over there that you cannot use uh, tool mod and any anything that is gonna give you an advantage over console uh, players. So I decided that I'm not gonna do that and I'm not gonna use the tool mode and I gotta tell you that I was so surprised of how well this build ended up looking. Because at first I wasn't quite sure how I'm gonna do the pole in front of the uh, of the ship. You know there's a uh, in, in the first in the front dock where you can see over there that I created that dock out of uh, planks and right now you can see that I'm putting a pole over there and I will be putting a lantern over there. I wasn't quite sure how I'm gonna do that. 
uh, because I, I had in mind using the two mod to uh, to take. There is a pool, I think, from the backyard uh, backyard pack. You have a pool over there uh, that is really it's empty. It, there is nothing on it, and the tool mod can rotate it. So I was thinking. Uh, at first to do that, but because I said to myself, RG, do not use tool mod, I had to find another way to, to do that. And, I, and I'm so happy that I managed to create this build without the tool mod, so that is 100% exactly what I mean by showing you what you can do in the game without the use of tool mod or any CC. Now, by the way, if I mention CC, I see some people sometimes um, putting a comment saying uh, no CC, so how do you rotate stuff? So I think there is a bit um, misunderstanding what is the meaning of CC and what is a mod. And if they were both the same, there was no good reason why to give them two different titles, like custom content, which is CC, and mods. It's not the same thing. So. Uh, just quickly, I'm gonna explain. Mods is something that you can put inside the game. Yes, it's outside the thing in the game. But the idea is that it's not affecting your game. Not mine, your game. And by affecting, I mean that you don't need to own the tool mod in order to load my creations. While it's quite the opposite for custom content or CCs. Custom contents mostly are new items, items that are not from the real game, not from a real expansion. Something that custom content creators, which by the way, they're creating amazing stuff, but I just, I just don't like it. I, I don't like putting inside of my game uh, uh, stuff that are not legitimately from the game. I don't know, maybe it's, it's just me. I, I really enjoy creating uh, with the stuff in the game. That, that's actually challenging me more and that's why I'm not using uh, CC and that's why I'm trying to inspire you all to build stuff without the use of CC. But regardless what I just said, there are so awesome and amazing content creators like uh, custom content creators over there uh, and, and I'm gonna tell you, yeah, in Sims 3 for an example, I played with custom uh, content Mostly cars because I was so into that and the cars were usable so I remember myself uh, bringing it into the game, uh, bringing it into my game like uh, real life cars uh, and of course I'm not gonna say brands because uh, this is not sponsored but again yeah custom content that's exactly the thing it's something that you need to download in order to have the build as you see it uh, uh, right now for an example if I were building with custom content in this build uh, for you downloading it into your game, you had also uh, to download the custom content that I used in the build. And that's the difference between tool mod and custom content. I really felt the need to explain that. Uh, uh, but anyway, as you can see, we are taking shape of this build and uh, I gotta tell you that I super love how it ended up. And uh, just because I didn't use the tool mod, that actually gave me a bit more uh, a challenge to do that and I really try to give the feeling of this ship being some sort of a lost souls uh, ship where the uh, where the ghosts on this board and you will see that at the end of this video I actually created a cinematics something very very cool using ghosts that I uh, uh, that I well I kind of had to create those ghosts not in the most nicely way, which is I created pirates in cast mode and then I brought them over to the sims and I killed them. Yeah, it wasn't nice to do that, but I wanted them to be ghosts and not being sims that were make-upped. make up make up Is that a thing? You know, I, I, I mean sims that I put makeup of, of Halloween themed or a ghost makeup on them. I want them to be legitimately ghosts. So I had to bring them over to my god sim, which uh, those who know who it is, he's furious, he is doing what he wants, and he is powerful. So he kinda killed them all, and then he used the magic spell Necrocall, which is one of the coolest thing ever, that brought them back from their urn? Urn? Yeah, they are becoming urn after they are dying. So basically he called back their spirits into the sims world and they are appearing as uh, ghosts. And that's the beauty and that's how I, I managed to uh, create and play them in this build to give it a bit more 
feeling for uh, for ghosty vibe and, and real ghost are being in, in this build. So as you can see, I even created that uh, opened area underneath the uh, ship that I think that in real ships, that was where the uh, prisoners were being held. And uh, I, I, I really love that area. I don't know, I don't know why. It's it just so nice. And I did not use the, um, the awesome railing over there that you can use to do that. So I used planks from, uh, from the debug menu. Uh, in general, I used a lot of debug menu in this build. And I, I just, I had a lot of fun. I gotta tell you, I had a lot of fun. And I hope you are gonna enjoy this build also. Now, uh, there is one area in this build that you're not gonna see me creating and it is actually the entrance. And you know why? Because I just forget I need to have an entrance. I was so into the build and so hyped that this thing is kind of floating in the water that I forgot that you need to create some sort of a path for, for uh, to enter to enter to enter this ship so that thing I actually created off camera and don't worry it wasn't so amazing and and and, and uh, um, exciting I really tried to do that as the most un let's call it unnoticeable thing because the main thing here is the ship so I didn't want that to take uh, part of the beauty of this build so I just created a path on the back side of the ship and because the ship, again, because the ship is on the angle, it's 45 angled from corner to corner in this uh, in this map. So the uh, yeah the, the stairs were a bit pain, but at the end uh, I managed to do that. So don't worry, there is a way to get inside this ship. And and uh, and yeah. So there are two areas in this ship that are playable. The first area is the upper area, which is going to be the bar itself where you can uh, do whatever you want, you can enjoy, you can uh, drink, you can... I think there is uh, like the vampiric piano, which I don't remember how you call that. And there is a game over there that you can play, like the blocks that you can take them off and, and enjoy some uh, friendly time with your fellow ghosts after a long day of hunting people in the Sims 4 game. And I think there is an instrument, something like uh, to, to play around over there. And generally, I think that's it. But yeah, there, there are still a lot of stuff that you can do in this place. And at the end, yeah, this is still functioning as a bar. And uh, in the bottom area, like one floor underneath the bar, there is where, where the place of the ghost or the pirate ghost uh, were sleeping when they were alive of course so if you are coming into this bar and you are too uh, too drunk to go home you can just go uh, over there and, and and sleep just again don't 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 talk too much to the uh, to the ghost because they will hunt you so in a bit I'm gonna bring you some nice and awesome music to hear for the rest of this video it, we are not done yet there are some plenty more stuff that you want to see uh, inside of this build but this is the moment for me to remind you a few things one of them that in uh, two hours from the moment this video is being released there will be a live stream with the new pack the snowy escape with gameplay so I'm gonna be there it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm really hyped for that and uh, I really hope to see some of you maybe I'll see some uh, some of my followers that I see you here uh, commenting maybe I'll see you over there and I will ask you nicely to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel if you are new here click the bell notification button so you won't miss the next awesome build I'm gonna bring to you and in general have a spooky and awesome holiday Till the next time, keep that spooky Sims party going for me. Enjoy the rest of the video and the awesome music. RGR Gaming, signing off. Hey, I wish you could see yourself Just sitting there on my chair I'm staring at you You don't even notice Should have told you straight away You don't have to be afraid
let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright
just to breathe, yeah, I need that Take it all in, now I see what I'm asking for It's just some space and some time, then I'll be alright I've been having thoughts in my mind, I can't get up Tell me things I can't say myself Soy yo, yo voy a ser otro yo Los frenos os arranqué El riesgo me cae bien Los frenos os arranqué El riesgo me cae bien A veces yo soy yo Yo voy a ser otro yo A veces yo soy yo Yo voy a ser otro yo Los frenos os arranqué El riesgo me cae bien Los frenos os arranqué El riesgo me cae bien Trata de festejar Celebrar el bienestar Tantas estrellas brillan que 
romper que con la paz nada me rompe, no, no, nada me rompe. Trata de festejar, celebramos el bienestar. Canta si estés viva, mi parte me será mientras rodea. Nada me rompe, no, no, nada me rompe.